This is a setup I have uh, to mill a hollow in the bottom side of a crankcase that I'm making for a model aircraft, a model uh, engine. This is going to be a V8 uh, model engine that runs on compressed air. It'll have a 3 8 inch bore and a uh, half inch stroke. <coughs> and this is the uh, top half of the crankcase. So there is, <coughs> it's V shaped on top, <coughs> flat on the bottom. Crankshaft will go in through this side here and all the rods and everything will be inside there. <coughs> So the process I'm using here is to use my dividing head to be able to rotate this as I'm milling back and forth cutting it out and what I'll wind up with is a semicircular uh, hollow underneath here that you'll be able to see as I go along. Um, <clears throat> the um, milling table has, a, um, has two stops on the x-axis so that limits the transverse movement this way to the two extremes. Also have a depth stop on the quill, so I can the, the end mill will only go down so far and then stop. Uh, once I get that to the bottom, uh, that will stay there. I won't be raising and lowering that. Uh, the first, I've already done the one side; it's finished, and I'm now working on the second side. <coughs> um, you can see I've already started milling this out. <coughs> In the uh, initial process to get started, since I can't really rotate that out a full 180 degrees, what I have to do is rotate it as far as I can get it and then uh, go back and forth plunge cutting all the way down so that I get the initial <coughs> uh, part in there started. So let me zoom in a little bit here and I'll make a few passes uh, so you can kind of see what's going on. Alright, so now we'll make a few passes back and forth. So now I'll begin rotating this <clears throat> so um, and making passes so you can see how this works. Before I do that, I think what I have to do is I have to uh, <clears throat> make a complete rotation all the way around. So let me lower this up to about like this. And then we will lower it about like that. And then we will see if I can go all the way around. Now we'll begin. 
in the uh, rotation button. So I go across. And I'll rotate it. Make another pass. Okay, not much to see here, so uh, I will I will pause the video and I'll pick up again when I get close to the end. In the meantime, I'm going to vacuum up these chips. As I said, this is magnesium and it's highly uh, dangerous if it catches fire. So I like to keep it vacuumed up so it doesn't uh, pose a pose a threat. So stay tuned. <laughs>